Good morning. Welcome to another um, bank holiday weekend it is again. <clears throat> and the weather forecast set for a hot one, maybe even a record uh, bank holiday temperatures for uh, for the UK. Um, so forecasting up to the central 30s, just over 30 degrees. Uh, so we're going to have a have probably have a couple of sessions over the bank holiday and probably put them into one video because this time it's fairly quiet there's not a great deal going on um, so we just have to see what we can find uh, put a few things together and um, yeah hopefully we can find uh, find a few things for you guys to see so one thing I am going to try and try and get is um, the great white egret which has been down here this area where I'm now quite a bit lately um, so uh, so we'll see if we can find the great white um, hopefully we we'll get some nice shots of that um, and yeah hopefully there's something at least to, to keep you guys interested because I know I haven't posted anything for a few weeks so uh, it'd be nice to uh, to share a few photos with you so let's go let's see what happens Just settled down here in the hide. Um, there is a, a great white eagle over the other side of the uh, uh, area that we're looking at at the moment. There's a there's a grey heron and uh, a great white egret. Um, don't always get on well, so that might cause a bit of a uh, bit of a few ructions between the two of them, you know. Um, so we keep an eye. With a bit of luck, you know, if one of them. Hopefully the great white decides that it's not his space anymore. He might uh, might come over this way a bit closer. So um, so we'll keep an eye on that for a minute and see what happens. But absolutely gorgeous morning. So uh, great place to be. You know, just just taking in the atmosphere, taking in the uh, the scenery, the great weather. Um, quite difficult to photograph the great white in this. In this light, because it's quite bright. It's a, it's a white bird, obviously, so it's quite bright. Um, <clears throat> so you have to be careful that you don't uh, overexpose. You have to um, stop down. If probably, I think I'm down one and three quarter stops at the moment, just trying to make sure I don't blow out those whites. Um, uh, so we get all the detail if we do get any photos on it. So uh, yeah, so, so uh, yeah, keep watching. See what happens better. So at the moment over the far side we've got, um, got three grey herons, a great white egret and a little egret at the moment, um, but we're just too far away from me at the moment. There is a hide around the other side which I could move around to, um, which is a little bit closer. Um, the only problem with that is the sun then would be right behind all the birds, um, so I'd be shooting straight into the sun, uh, which is just not going to work really, it's just going to, you know, make the photo pretty ugly I think by doing that so uh, I think we just got to be patient um, just sit here for a while oh we've got a green woodpecker just about to go past us you may have heard that um, it's just actually landed just down um, just to the right of us so uh, Normally come down, they feed on ants and things like that. So we're just, I'm just gonna, just gonna cut the video for a minute and just see if we can get anything of the uh, of the green woodpecker. Unfortunately, the green woodpecker just um, just wouldn't come out of the grass. It was just hiding in the grass too much, and then then took off. Um, uh, I posted a, a shot I took uh, last week um, just outside where I am now. So. Um, 
had a quite nice shot of the green woodpecker just in one of the dead trees at the side. So uh, I'll just post that up so you can have a look at that and um, you can see what it looks like. But they've got a lot of rabbits wandering around as well. The rabbit just out in front of me at the moment, just uh, sitting, sitting quietly and just, just uh, eating around the grass. So. Um, so yeah, so we'll go we'll go back on uh, on egret watch at the moment, and uh, you know hopefully we can uh, we can get some shots of this great white and uh, maybe a bit of video as well. So yeah. That's about it for me for uh, day one of this bank holiday weekend. Uh, the uh, Great White Egret was around, a bit distant, but uh, got a few photos. And but uh, yeah, another couple of good weather days ahead. So hopefully we can get out again, uh, and um, we'll just continue this video and see what else we can find. So uh, have a great weekend. Um, and I'll catch up with you very shortly. Bye for now. Good morning. Uh, it's day two of the Bank Holiday weekend. Uh, it's a Sunday today. Um, Looking to be another great day, even warmer than yesterday by the looks of it. A little bit of mist to start off with this morning. Um, it's just what, just ten past eight now, so uh, the mist's, uh, mist has cleared. Um, so we're just going to have a little walk around. Um, rather than sit just in, in, in a hide this morning, we're going to have a, a walk up some of the tracks and around some of the countryside. Um, and see if we can find anything interesting. So uh, come along and join me. One of the problems this time of year, um, I mean, although it's great weather, the summer's nice and warm, um, obviously the light's not so good because you've not got such low sun, it gets a bit harsh as soon as the, the sun starts to rise, but also some of the paths that you try and walk through are, um, are quite inaccessible. Um, just an example, this, this path behind me here, I um, don't know if you can see it, um, I used to walk through here uh, in the winter um, and earlier on in the summer and just stand overlooking the fence but it just looks like you know there's no way I'm going to get through it this morning so uh, so we'll find another walk around um, and the other thing I think with, with all this you know when it's all grown like this it's very hard to see the birds and things so um, so it might just be a case of just sitting somewhere quietly and just seeing what turns up a lot of little birds around um, so I'm sure we'll find something um, uh, to report back later. So, uh, yeah, see where we can get to. We just managed to fight my way through uh, the brambles and the stingers to get onto a path um, I've used quite frequently. Um, the good thing is, not many other people are going to use it, so you're not going to find many people walking the dogs 
and that sort of thing. Um, which was the original path I was going to go on. There was uh, where I've seen the foxes and things before, but unfortunately there's a few people walking dogs up there, so can't see there been any foxes around up that way. Um, but down this path we've seen Monk Jack. Uh, uh, we've seen foxes around the back area as well, so so you never know. It's still still pretty overgrown in places, but uh, it's passable. So we'll see if we can find somewhere quiet to sit. I think, and, and just see what turns up around. There's lots of lots of little birds around, um, so we'll see what we can find. This is what I mean about how the uh, foliage in the trees causes issues. Uh, that tree we're looking at at the moment, um, there's actually a, a greater spotted woodpecker in there, just jumping around in between the branches. Um, just so hard to see and there's, there's absolutely no way you get a photo of it at the moment. don't think we can even see it on the video, jumping around, but uh, I saw it go in there and I can see it just occasionally just some movement in there. I'm not sure how well we can see that but the uh, greater spotted woodpecker is just up in that dead tree now in front of us um, in the middle of the screen. Which there's all sorts of wires and things across the front from the electric cables so it's not uh, not great but See if I can get closer, but uh, they're very, very skittish birds. So as soon as I get anywhere near a walk, walk in that direction, it's likely to take off. So um, I'm not sure we'll get anything better at the moment. There was a green woodpecker up in the tree as well a minute ago, um, as we walked down this way. Uh, again, that was fairly skittish, so that took off as soon as we got anywhere near. We finally made it through um, through that path. That was a bit tough going. Um, hawthorns, thistles, brambles. Um, made it very difficult to concentrate on the photography, really. Uh, but uh, and of course, once we started disturbing some of the ground because it hadn't been used for long, the flies were at me. So uh, I was uh, I was getting getting bitten as well, I think. So. Um, but uh, out back into the other end, into the open now. Um, I say, you know, we've seen some sights of the woodpeckers um, uh, and lots of lots of other little things around. So we'll, we'll keep trying, see what we find. Um, a couple of big gulls going over the top, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll have a walk around a bit more of the open area, uh, around some of the lakes, and see if there's there's anything else around. Well, I thought there was a bit more of an open path, but uh, it wasn't. And unfortunately, one thing I've found is that um, these trousers I'm wearing do not protect me from stinging nettles. I haven't been around this area for a while, um, uh, but seen these swans on the nest previously, and, and good to see they've got a couple, at least a couple of cygnets over there that uh, are surviving well. Um, so that's nice to see. It's not looking hopeful for too much excitement today. Um, hoping we might see some foxes or monk jacks around this area, but uh, it's all quiet. Um, plenty of small birds around. Um, plenty of woodpeckers around, I can hear one now. Um, 
But yeah, I think that's probably going to be about it for me for this uh, second day of the bank holiday. Um, so all remains for me to wish you to have a great day. Um, it's going to be really hot out there, so slap on the sun cream, as they say. Um, and I will try and get out tomorrow again and see what else we can find. So have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Good morning again. Um, so here we are again. Um, another um, scorching hot day for a bank holiday. Bank holiday Monday. Uh, record temperatures in the UK for a bank holiday, for a summer bank holiday. Um, going to be into 32, 33 degrees today apparently. Um, so again, say so over these last few days it's been fairly quiet. There's not been a massive amount going on. Um, but this time of year, you know, we don't see a great deal of, of bird life around here. Um, lots of little birds, but nothing, nothing too exciting. So, uh, so I'll have a wander around again today, um, and uh, just see what we can find on the way around. So, uh, okay, let's go, and uh, I hope we find something. sort of hiding myself in the trees at the moment at the side of the path just for a little while just to see if anything comes along um, trying to break up my shape by using the trees using them as a bit of camouflage and just keeping hidden out of the way for a bit what you do find with the birds is that when you've been there for a while they sort of get used to you so um, sometimes I have to give it 15-20 minutes and they get used to you being there and then start to come to the area around you and just to see what's uh, and just, just act as normal really so I'll just wait and see what happens for a bit This is proving to be a pretty tough day today. Um, struggling to find much to photograph at all. Even the small birds don't seem to want to come out of the foliage. I guess they're staying out of the sun a little bit, maybe. But certainly we're not finding a lot today, so uh, I can only apologise for that, but uh, you know, that's, that's wildlife for you. As I've said on many occasions before, but what a beautiful day to be out! You know, it's I've not seen a person since I've been walking down here um, for the whole place to myself. It's not a long walk, but it takes a long time when you're stopping to see if you can take any photographs every now and again. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll have a, a slow wander back. Um, and see, you know, never know, we might see something on the way back, it's happened before. Um, I had a really quiet day and then found something special on the way back. I'm not saying that's going to happen today, but you never know. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep trying. I never turn the camera off till I walk back in the door at home, that's for sure, because you never know what you're going to see. Um, yeah, so let's hope for something. Well, that's about it for this uh, bank holiday weekend by the looks of it. Again, on the route back towards the car, um, nothing really to shout about. Tried to tried to get some dragonflies in flight, but that was pretty impossible. Um, need to spend a lot of time doing that, probably, you know, 
oh, best part of a day I guess to get any decent shots but um, yeah so I mean nothing nothing really exciting to report some some decent shots over the weekend of the uh, great white egret um, you know a few good heron shots uh, a few other bits and pieces small birds so um, hopefully it hasn't been you know total waste of time and um, it's never a waste of time for me because I'm out and about I love to be out in the open I love to be out with my camera I uh, just never know what you're gonna see um, but I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video and um, if you do please please uh, click a like in the button below um, uh, and if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe and probably I'm gonna be a little bit quiet for, for a, over the next period or so because um, you know there's not a lot of active stuff going on so i might just post if we actually see anything or do anything um uh, and you know if there's anything interesting i'm not gonna bore you with me wandering around the countryside um but whatever you're doing have a great day uh, have a great end to your bank holiday weekend if you're in the uk and um hopefully um i'll catch up with you again soon bye for now